Fifty years ago today, on July 2nd, 1964, one month after I graduated from segregated C.A. Johnson High School in Columbia, South Carolina, one of the last remaining legal barriers to equal opportunity in America was toppled when President Lyndon Johnson signed into law the most sweeping civil rights legislation since the post-Civil War Reconstruction era. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 outlawed discrimination in such areas as voting, public restaurants, employment, and education on the basis of such characteristics as race, color, religion, national origin, and gender. It was a pivotal moment in the nation's ongoing struggle to right the wrongs of the past, and it ushered in an era of diversity and inclusion that in the last half century has literally transformed the face of America and the face of NASA. I ask that you join with me and the entire NASA family in pausing today to reflect on the many changes that have taken place in our country and in NASA since the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Before the passage of the Civil Rights Act, which was originally proposed by President John F. Kennedy before his 1963 assassination, some of us could not eat in the same restaurants or go to the same movie theaters as whites. Some of us were forced to go to separate and unequal segregated schools. Some of us were denied the right to vote. Some of us could not even apply for the same jobs as whites. Today, America is a very different place, and so is NASA. There is more opportunity, more diversity, and more hope for the future because of the struggles and sacrifices of people like John F. Kennedy, Lyndon B. Johnson, Martin Luther King, Jr., Congressman John Lewis, Fannie Lou Hamer, Rosa Parks, and so many other foot soldiers of the civil rights movement. NASA was created as a federal agency in 1958 at a time when the struggle for civil rights and racial equality was intensifying. Much of the new agency was located in the racially segregated South, which brought us directly into the path of the civil rights movement and although it took a while for NASA to fully open its doors to people of all races, genders, and walks of life, we have made great strides over the years. Much of our progress is due to the hard work and dedication of our Office of Diversity and Equal Opportunity at headquarters and the diversity champions and managers at each of our centers. Today, African Americans and other minorities are playing critical roles in everything we do as scientists and engineers, administrators and managers, analysts, astronauts, educators, communicators, and more. Like the rest of America, our greatest mission to build a more perfect union is not yet complete. As President Lyndon Baines Johnson reminded us 50 years ago today, and I quote, this Civil Rights Act is a challenge to all of us to go to work in our communities and our states, in our homes and in our hearts, to eliminate the last vestiges of injustice in our beloved country. Thanks to every single one of you in our NASA contractor family for being good stewards of NASA's commitment to diversity, inclusion, and opportunity for all.